This is the second part of the instrumental before the solo of The Day That Never Comes. And this is the second guitar part. So you're going to start out on the fifth fret of the B string with that same rhythm as in the previous video. Pull off third fret. Pull off to the open. And then third fret, pull off open, second fret G string. Fourth fret G string, pull off second fret, open G string. Then second fret G string, open G string, second fret D string. Then fifth fret, pull off second fret, to the second fret, and open D string. And then do it again. Right there. And then you remember you only do the first three of those. And then you're gonna do the third fret, B string bend, half step, then normal. And then first fret, B string, hammer on to the third fret. And then you're gonna do third fret E string. Pull off 2nd fret, open, open E string, 2nd fret, pull off open, to the 3rd fret of the B string, then 5th fret, pull off 3rd fret, open G, open B string, and then 3rd fret, B string, pull off open, 2nd fret, G string, then 4th fret, G string, pull off 2nd fret, then open. Then for the last one, you're going to do 7th fret of the high E string, pull off 5th fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret, pull off 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, pull off 2nd fret, open E string, and then you're going to do the 5th fret of the B string, Hammer on 7th fret, pull off 5th fret, 3rd fret, 3rd fret, hammer on 5th fret, pull off 3rd fret, 1st fret, G, B, B string, 1st fret, hammer on 3rd fret, open, open, hammer on 1st fret, pull off, 2nd fret, G string, and then open B string, 5th fret, open, 8th fret twice, then 5th fret. This part, this part is hard. That part right there, both on on both strings. Remember that, because you're gonna use it later. And then, so after that whole part there. You're going to go back into this, do it twice, you're going to do a series of A minor type arpeggios, they're all triplets, so you're going to do open E string, hammer on 5th fret, hammer on 8th fret. Um, I think you do about 8 of them. Very fast, it's kind of hard to do. And then you're going to do the next one. First, same two notes, but then you're going to hammer on to the seventh fret. Four times. And then you're going to do open E string, hammer on fourth fret, and then hammer on to the seventh fret. And then open E string. So you do that two times. And then the next two times, both guitar, one guitarist keeps playing that, but the other one does the same thing on the high E string. And then, go back to this. But you're going to stop right there at the 7th fret power chord. That's when you're going to do this riff.
little guitar, so it's going to sound kind of like this, slow down. And then you do that thing, that again. So you do it twice, and then you're going to hit the opening power chord. And then you're just going to hold it for a while. And this next riff is zero the power chords. And you use the 7th fret power chord, 5th fret, 3rd fret power chord, then open E string, and do that again. 5th fret power chord, 7th fret, 5th fret A string power chord, 5th fret G, uh, B, D string power chord. Here what you can do is just bar those two strings and move your ring finger up one. Then 5th fret A string power chord. So slide really quickly up to the 7th fret. Then 5th fret A string power chord. Then 7th fret E string power chord. 5th fret. And do it again. So stop right there. You're going to do open E string power chord. 3rd fret. And then 2nd fret A string. And 3rd fret E string. So the whole thing, you do it twice. And then after that, you're going to go into the guitar solo. which I will teach you in the next video.